good. It only takes an ounce of water and a gallon of gasoline to cause ethanol to fall out of the fuel, creating a distinct layer of hot, a lean, dry, burning ethanol and water at the bottom and a strata of barely combustible gas at the top. This is phase separation, a destructive characteristic of ethanol and fuel. Ingesting either compound in your engine will destroy it, the former quickly and the latter more slowly. Here's a half teaspoon of water looking pretty harmless. Here's the same half teaspoon of water bonded with the ethanol in a half liter of fuel. The cylinder contains two ruined components of sludge. You may already have this in your tank. One effect of fuel stabilizers is to help increase the amount of water your fuel can absorb before fuel separation occurs. So we dosed one half liters of fuel with various stabilizers, then added water to them one milliliter at a time and agitated them. Initially, some water settled to the bottom and some mixed with the fuel. Eventually, it all phase separated. Interestingly, the treated fuel showed about 30 to 50 percent less phase separated sludge at the bottom of the cylinder than the untreated fuel. Treating your fuel for the normal effects of storage has always been important, but now treating it to resist the effects of phase separation is another strong reason to use fuel stabilizers. On the bright side, the fuel you use when it's fresh won't have a chance to phase separate, so get out and boat and keep it fresh.